It's about that time again to start ripping on the top five worst lyrics I've ever heard this month. Whoa. Look back at it, Whoa. look back at it, Whoa. then I'll put a fat rabbit on a craftmatic. I am so high, addict. I am so high like a f addict. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, that just sounds funny to me. Especially since the way he talks makes the word attic and addict sound exactly the same. So when I first heard it, it sounded like he wanted to get out on this unfinished simile thing, but then when he heard it, he was like, yeah, I, I want to do the Twitter rap thing too, but like, just in case they don't get it, like, let me say the whole phrase too. Also, I'm so high like an addict? Yeah, I'm on drugs, like, like, you know, someone who's known for doing drugs a lot. Yeah, I I I'm not really good at the simile thing. Also, I'm really high. I'm getting ready to put y'all up on something, man. Yo, when you see something ill, you know what I mean? That shit is woke. You know, I've been thinking about this song for a while, and I've been thinking about how it's... Well, I think it's kind of funny how he was obviously trying to start a trend with whoa, as if he had just heard the word for the first time yesterday and found it so aesthetically pleasing to his ears that he thought he could flip it into a catchphrase, which did not happen. Mainly because it, it, it's already a thing you say when you see something cool. Black Rob did to whoa what Paris Hilton did to that's hot or Donald Trump did to you're fired. It was already a thing that people said, but why not try to take the credit for yourself? Hundred miles an hour switching lanes like whoa. Plus I'm getting brain from this chick like whoa. Finger near nigga asshole like whoa. Whoa indeed. I mean, I, I know you're still talking about the chick giving you a BJ from before, and I'm sure someone as gangster yourself is in no way gay. But dude, you have to know how that sounds. And I'm not against gay people, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't this guy's intention, which is kind of what makes it funnier, especially when you hear an extra guy in the background shouting, whoa. It's almost like the producer cut off the recording and tried to stop him from continuing down that thought process. And who knows, maybe if he didn't stop him, the song might have gone further. So this song was obviously trying to make a catchphrase, but it did not work, because as far as I remember, there was no one else who used whoa as an adjective to describe something. Huh. Maybe it did catch on for a while. And I don't let them close, but don't fuck up a wing, cause when it wings, it goes. Ladies and gentlemen of the mainstream audience, your best rapper alive. And yes, I'm gonna keep saying that when I come across a terrible line from Lil Wayne, because if you're gonna call yourself the best rapper alive, you'd better expect every line in your catalog to be accounted for. And yeah, I know he doesn't outright say that anymore, but after how much he repeated it back in the 2000s, he's definitely still thinking it. And I know his fans are still thinking it. And yeah, I know rappers can have duds every now and then, but when you've claimed for as long as he did to be the best rapper alive, lines like this shouldn't be this easy to find. I'm on a fuck that bitch shit. You used to be the shit, but now you ain't shit, bitch. All he did was switch around the last two words. You know, I think Lil Wayne is due for a full rap critic episode. I love bad bitches, that's my fucking problem. And yeah, I like the fuck, I got a fucking problem. I love bad bitches, that's my fucking problem. And yeah, I like the fuck, I got a fucking problem. Did, did, did you get it? He's saying he's got, he's got fucking problems. Because... Because people usually, you know, in general, when they're talking about their problems, man, they say, I've got f***ing problems. But he's saying, I've got f***ing problems because he f***s a lot. This is almost as clever as that song where the chorus was about hitting on a girl by comparing yourself to Fred Flintstone. Because contrary to what every girl you might say these two would want you to believe, the business of corny sex jokes is apparently alive and well. I mean, according to how popular these songs are, this stuff must be genius. Girl, I know you won't did de. Oh God, Kendrick, not you too. Holly, Mary, Hallelujah, holla back, I'll do ya. Peace. You're referencing another song on your album, but that's not even relevant to what you're talking. Please don't let this be a preview of what to expect on your new album. Crack a smile, crack the VIP, y'all in the crowd. Me and Brittany, we act a while. Uh. I 
I'm sorry. Are you trying to make hanging out with an aging, increasingly irrelevant former teen pop star with two kids and a fake British accent sound cool? Cause, cause that's not gonna happen. I don't care how many random black guys you put in your song. I say what? She say but. I say but. Why you stuck? She say fuck. I say who? She say not you. I say then who? She say you know. I know what? You know who? I say I do. She say you do. Know. I say I do, but I really don't. Yeah. Yeah, I totally need to make another episode on Lil Wayne.